and welcome to this episode of the Viva Football Show. Today we are in different time zones. Personally, it is a very special episode for me because I am connected to Portugal. As Portugal national team is my favorite uh, team that I support in the World Cup and uh, in the Euros. And Cristiano Ronaldo being my favorite player, all time favorite player. So I think this is my personal favorite episode of the Viva Football Show. And to highlight this episode, we have the Portuguese formal national uh, football player Simão Sabrosa, who has been in Benfica, Sporting, Atletico, Barcelona, and Espanyol. And the Indian connect of this uh, player with us is that in 2015, the Indian Super League signed him in the cradle of football, which is Northeast United FC. And he was their marquee player. As we all know that Northeast United is the cradle of Indian football, the grassroots and the origin of the football development is from most of the Northeast part of India. So Sima, we welcome you to this special episode of the Viva Football Show. Thank you so much, and I appreciate and uh, uh, for your support of Portugal national team. And uh, yeah. I'm so happy to to be here today for talk about football and my experience on football yeah. and uh, uh, professional, of course. Yeah. Thank you for invitation. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Sima, really appreciate uh, you joining yeah. us and uh, myself being a football player, then football journalist, historian. So right from uh, Eusebio's time to Figo, Ronaldo, and now uh, João Felix. So it's like a great tradition yeah. and legacy that uh, Portugal have uh, in football and they have delivered fantastic players. So, and we are, of course, interested about grassroots system, football development system that you have been working on. So yeah. to kick off the show, can you please uh, just uh, elaborate us about the football development and grassroots of uh, Benfica and uh, Portuguese football in all? Of course. Uh, in Portugal, we are invested a lot of, of uh, youth players. Uh, it's important for us to, to give to to the players the best conditions. Of course, we have uh, work a lot. We have a good coach. We have a good scouting. Mm -hmm. We have a good former players, of course. But we try to find the, the talent. And in Portugal, we have the talent. And after, you need to work this talent. And you need to be a, a great coach, a great mm -hmm. sporting in the, in the clubs. And we have important also to give to the players uh, good conditions to grow up. And I think Portugal now, yeah, of course, Benfica work uh, very, very good. And yeah. if you look at moment, we have uh, as some players come from uh, Benfica campus for our our youth players. So if you look in in Manchester City, we have uh, we have Bernardo, we have uh, Ruben Diaz, yeah. Cancelo. Ederson, so we have so many players. If you look at Spain, we have João Félix, like you told, and uh, Gonzalo Guedes, uh, André Gomes moved to, to Everton like two years yeah. ago. So we have, we have great players because we the development very good and mm. we try to do the best for, for these players. And of course, uh, for us, it's most important to, to play in the first team Yes. And all these players play for us, and now we play in the in the best uh, big five uh, teams in in the Europe. Yes. Yeah. This is the Benfica Universe. Founded in 1904, Benfica is the most decorated club in Portugal and one of the most decorated in Europe, with 81 official trophies. The last major trophy coming in 2019 with the 37th league title. Ranked 12th by UEFA, Benfica stands shoulder to shoulder with the giants of European football. In the past nine years, the club has invested 617 million euros in players, whilst collecting over 976 million euros in transfers. The transfer of João Felix to Atletico Madrid for 126 million euros was the biggest transfer of all time for the club and the fourth most expensive transfer worldwide. Benfica is one of the most profitable clubs in terms of return on sales, with an enterprise value of 410 million euros. Benfica is ranked in 24th place in the Deloitte Money League. Uh, 
and uh, as we all know that indian football is also on a rising trend in case of grassroots and activation so according to you how important grassroots is like you told about uh, the benfica grassroots thing so what is the philosophy and what are the grassroots models that you use in benfica and portugal we have we have uh, the best philosophy we have the best conditions we have the best uh, analyze we have everything in the, in the club but yeah. for us we try to find the talent the talent is the most important in mm-hmm. in the in the football and after you work so many things of course the talent is the best is the most important but you, after you need to work mentality we to work physically mm. you you have to to know everything about the player and family yeah. and and everything and after we have a lot of people in Benfica who work in the different mm. uh, 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 way you know so for us of course is important to find the talent yeah. and after you work this talent and uh, when you move to to Seychelles in 2006 Uh, now we have Benfica campus uh, we feel the difference because we have more conditions different conditions and we have more more uh, more pits for for the players work and after yeah. the school for us is also very important you try to to find the, the best player but if you don't find find the the, the best player you need to to project this player for future you know mm. maybe is not a good player but it's a good man so for us is important also the the school mm. and we have the teachers in our our academy to to control and if you have a good notes in the school mm. is better for the player yeah. so for us uh, we have a mix of uh, of the the talent to find of course uh, if you have a, a clever player we need to 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 grow up our capacity for mm. uh, thinking in football but but yeah. also uh, important for us is uh, thinking all, also in the school mm. so i think uh, for these things Uh, we can we can find the better player and a better mm. man benfica is strategically developing an international expansion program despite the global pandemic that has delayed some plans three strategic countries with huge development potential in youth football and commercial growth are our targets china england and the usa with the aim of turning benfica into a truly global player in china We are currently preparing important partnerships operating in the regions of Macau, Beijing and Chongqing with coaches developing highly ambitious programs in academy football. In England, home of the greatest media exposed football league in the world, many of the clubs seek talent made in Benfica, making it another market which is the natural destination for our players. In the United States, the country with the highest number of registered footballers in the world and where academy football is more lucrative than professional football, we've targeted four important partners. the Lalau Benfica to aim high in this rapid growth and high economic yield market. An elite club needs a top level training center. Benfica Ha at Benfica Campus, world renowned facilities to achieve excellence. A place where our two professional teams and academy teams train daily, composed of 8 youth teams, 57 technical staff members and 207 players, of which 41 are internationals and 27 coaches. It has 9 football pitches. 86 bedrooms, 3 physiotherapy rooms, 3 gymnasiums and the Benfica Lab. The Benfica Lab in partnership with Microsoft is a technological center focused on recovery, nutrition and player analysis with advanced and predictive learning models to enable athletes to play smarter, get fitter and avoid injury using Microsoft's cloud technologies. It's not humans also because we have a uh, a uh, human players uh, start a youth So I think for yeah. Benfica, it's also important. We start this this uh, like uh, four years ago, mm. and now we have also in the in the human first team uh, is the, is the champion of of the Portugal, and also yes. we are interesting in in men's and humans because it's the future of football. 
Yes. The creation of the Benfica women's team must also be highlighted, having conquered a Portuguese Cup and a Super Cup in its first year of activity. It is an evolving force, capturing a growing interest from supporters, as demonstrated by the record attendance reached in the derby against Sporting at Stadio de Luz. Yeah, Sima, you put up a very valuable thought and especially for Viva Football because we work very closely uh, with the schools and mm. we have a, a good lot of network of schools here in India. We are the magazine partner for Subroto Mukherjee International Inter School Tournament, which hosts around 20,000 schools. So I'm sure uh, these thoughts must be yeah. uh, taken to all across India with all these schools and it would be very valuable contribution into our schools and football ecosystem. Yes, yes. Yeah, and, and Befica have uh, also in mind, maybe in three, four years, mm. in Befica campus, uh, maybe we construct a, a university for, for the kids mm. and school yeah. also. also the, the players don't need to move to different schools. We have school inside to Befica campus. Mm. Okay. This is the proje project in in like in three four years we can can be ready to, yeah. to the the players uh, studying in uh, our academy yes so uh, as you know that every indian toddler and every indian teenager dreams to play in europe and uh, they support the european clubs and european stars uh, like ronaldo then uh, argentinian stars like messi and we have our own el clasico here but as we dream not just to watch football but also to play in europe uh, is benfica chalking out any roadmap for indian oriented projects yes of course we have a program uh, from international schools uh, and uh, you thinking in, in India because also I play in India. Yes. I don't know what if it, if it happen or not, mm. but it's uh, it's important for Bifika to to find a, a, a project to the, the development the the our our the international schools. Uh, so I know. Uh, we have some contacts, but mm. uh, I think in in uh, in future maybe we 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 have in India basic international schools. Mm. Yes, yes, and uh, as you said, you have been in India for a long time now. So, what are your impressions about the landscape of the Indian Super League and Indian football in general? Yes, I play in uh, Northeast United okay. FC in in uh, Indian Super League. I enjoy a lot. Uh, the the league is uh, only three months. It's very hard. It's difficult to mm. to play because because uh, this competition is is so difficult to play. But I enjoy a lot because mm. the, we we see uh, better football players in India. Of course, yeah. this is important. When when uh, Northeast United sign uh, Ni nice, Silas, uh, uh, Miguel Garcia, some different yeah. players, exper experienced players, to 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 give more improvement to the to the Indian players, mm. and uh, you know like India is big, we have a different different uh, players. Maybe in the north we are more strong, more fast. Maybe in the center is more technique. Uh, maybe in the south is, I don't know, it's like a mix. Mm. But uh, for me, these three months is unbelievable. I, I, when I come to Portugal, I feel more, I feel better man. And uh, I think I, I, I hope some players to, to the development. And I think now is this players is also better players. Yeah. And, the league, is, it, and, the, and the league is, is, is hard. Yeah. And I enjoy a lot when, when I play. It's so difficult to play. And maybe in Portugal, uh, the, the people don't know about the, the league. But when I talk about the Super League, I have always great words because... Mm. Uh, I still I still contact the, the owners of Northeast United. Mm -hmm. I still have friends in India, uh, and uh, and for me it's like like uh, uh, another home. 
Wow. And traveling, traveling all across India must be a very exciting experience for you. To yeah, Chennai, to Kochi, to Goa. So it's Delhi, like. Yeah. And and the league is also different because in Europe you play one game home, one game away. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So uh, in in the organization of the India Super League, sometimes you play two games at home, uh, three three yeah. games games away. So yeah, we travel a lot. You never yeah. stop. <laughs> uh, you need to move uh, uh, our bags. <laughs> so, but this uh, brilliant experience for me. Any any favorite Indian foods that you enjoy? I enjoy. I enjoy a lot. We have an Indian restaurant in Portugal. Uh, yeah. But but in India is so different. It's more spicy. Yeah. <laughs> but I I I I enjoy and I love the Indian food. <laughs> True. Yeah, yeah. Back to the football ground as in traveling to Europe to play and to test their skills. So. Uh, what advice would you give them like uh, to concentrate on their physical fitness tactics mm. or uh, understanding about the game? So how should they approach uh, the games uh, to fulfill their European dream? For the for the Indian players? Yes. Yeah. But I, we know we know it's difficult to play football. We know how it's difficult to play in the big teams. Mm. Of course. Uh, every every players have a dream to play in the big leagues in the big teams. It's it's so difficult. But uh, the most important, you never never. The most important is we trust yourself mm. and uh, continue dreaming and and uh, and uh, work a lot every day. Listen to the coach <laughs> and and uh, take care of yourself because uh, our body is the most important. So uh, I know it's very difficult to play in the big teams. I play, I have lucky to play in the big teams like Barcelona, Atletico Madrid, my team yeah. Benfica. Uh, I played six years in Benfica. I, I won the league, I won the cup. Yeah. In Atletico Madrid, I won the, the, the Super Cup, uh, European Super Cup, uh, uh, UEFA, UEFA Cup. So it's, it's difficult to, to be a professional because... Uh, we don't have time to to go out mm. to to share the time with with friends. We need to be a professional. So uh, this is the most important and the, the best title I have when I go to 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 these teams. When I go to Madrid, when I go to Barcelona, the first word I listen is Simon. We are, we are a very professional. So mm. this is the, the the best the best cup I I. I get because of course I know that sometimes you play good, sometimes you play bad. But if you are a professional every day, uh, you can win a trophies. You know, for me, it's the most important. But continuous working. I think yes. the best, the best uh, thinking for for the players uh, playing in India or in different countries, also in Portugal, it's not easy. If you are in Portugal in in our academy, it's not easy to, to play to the first team. Mm. So the most important is work every day, trust yourself, and listen to the coach. And after when you have opportunity, you, you try to catch mm. this opportunity because it's not easy to play the first team. But when you play the first time, uh, your thinking is stay in the, in the first team. So you need to work every day. You need to to improve every day and after maybe you can be better players. True, true. Do you find any similarity between Portuguese football style of football and Indian footballing style? Yes, of course we are are similar. Uh, Now the the football is different. Look, before, like 20 years ago, is more Mm. technique. Uh, Mm. After 10 years is, is... uh, you need m- to be more fast. Now is a mix for everything. You need to be concentrated. You need to mm-hmm. know everything about tactic. You need technique. You need power. You need uh, f- to be fast. So mm-hmm. the 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 game now is more fast than than ten years ago. So mm-hmm. because, like I told you before, you don't have time to to spend time with friends mm-hmm. or 
or with family. You need to be professional, so because the game changed, so it's similar because because uh, the, every player has a dream. So if you have a dream, that's why mm. it's similar, you know. But the Indian players is so strong, so fast. But I think you need to to work more technique, mm. uh, okay. and and the games give to mm. to the players is also this technique. If you play. Every game we have more confidence to work everything. If you don't play, it's difficult to get to the, get this this technical, this static, uh, mm. or like like I say before. Yeah, true. Yeah, yeah and uh, as we know that India will be hosting the FIFA Under 17 Women's World Cup in 2022. So there are going to be a lot of football activation and grassroots programs in India this coming year. So how do you think Benfica can help in the coach education development and in the terms of uh, grassroots this year? Yes, like uh, we have uh, human football players uh, and uh, we work a lot because we think now is the, the, the right way because if I talk about 10 years, you talk about football, about uh, men footballs, now we have a human and also we have a, uh, have a important uh, responsibility to create uh, a channels for the clubs and, and competitions for the, the human uh, football players. So I think Benfica work very good. We have a good team. We have also youth players yeah. uh, and we have so many human players to play in Benfica right now. Yeah. Uh, I think this is the future. So uh, Benfica play very good uh, in this area and uh, and uh, is in the right way. Mm. We saw Barcelona putting up a yeah. uh, record-breaking crowd of 91,000 plus. Uh, yes, yes, right. Classico. So definitely women's football is the way forward. Of course, of course. This is amazing. And when the camp now is full, and, yeah. uh, and uh, one game against uh, Barcelona, Real Madrid, it's like a yeah. classic, it's a classic human. So it's <laughs> big, big, right? This is the, the way to, to, to the future. I mm -hmm. think Benfica, Benfica have also in the, in one, when the team play, play home, is, of mm -hmm. course, we don't have uh, 19,000 because our stadium <laughs> have only 65,000 people. But normally we have 3,000, 4,000 people in the, in the Benfica campus. Yeah. Uh, and the all of us is also interesting in human football. Uh, for us, it's important, of course. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, as you know that the FIFA World Cup 2022 Qatar is in November, December now. So as I mentioned earlier that in India, there are a lot of Portugal and Ronaldo, João Felix fans uh, so what is your message to the Indian fans who support Portugal national team? <laughs> well, just thanks for support Portugal, support Portuguese players. For us, it's also very important to know uh, the India uh, support Portugal. Of course, uh, we have the best players in, in Portugal. João Felix is one of, of that. We have also Bernardo, like like I told you before, Cristiano. Yeah. Cristiano Bruno, yeah. is, is the is the most important. Bruno Fernandes, João yeah. Cancelo, Ruben Dias. Uh, we have a great team, and you dream a lot uh, for the for the next World Cup. I hope yeah. uh, we first we play very good and we win the games. And thanks India for support Portugal. All the Indians are geared up just to see. Uh, Ronaldo, Bruno, and João Felix score goals in the World Cup. And, and uh, it's in November, November and December. We have too much work. <laughs> so for us, never stop. We play three, <laughs> three, three days uh, in Benfica. Yeah, in November, uh, let's mm. let's see who can who can happen. Yes. Yeah. Fika is an eclectic club and as such, in addition to football, competes in 25 different sports. Having won over 700 trophies, including the UEFA Futsal Cup and the Roller Hockey European League.
Benfica has one of the largest membership bases in the world, with currently over 260,000 members. The club has over 50 million fans worldwide. It is one of the most recognized brands in the community of Portuguese-speaking countries, which has a combined population of 280 million. Due to strong trade links between countries and the origin of players such as Eusebio de Silva Freire, the club's greatest player. Market studies show that our Portuguese league and Champions League games are broadcast in 130 countries and watched by 104 million people on average per season, with more than 100,000 online news reports mentioning Benfica. Benfica has a network of over 500 companies, with many international partners such as Emirates, the Heineken Group, Adidas, Repsol, Ublo, EA Sports, and Hospital de Luz and Fidelidad, both belonging to the Chinese group Fosun. These partnerships make us think globally and help us create a bigger reach worldwide, as was the case with the award-winning activation developed with Emirates, just minutes before an important derby match. Eight Emirates flight attendants entered the pitch and surprised the world with a unique safety demonstration, resulting in an organic reach of 50 million people. A success story which was recognized by the Cannes International Advertising Festival with a gold lion in the PR category. In a straight collaboration with McKinsey, Benfica set out to once again innovate by boosting existing revenue sources of paying fans and members, such as membership fees, merchandising, season tickets, and groundbreaking matchday sales that have catapulted our digital sales up to 70% in the B2C category, while deploying state-of-the-art digital capabilities to successfully engage our extensive fan network scattered around the world. This constant drive for innovation is what keeps our club on target to reach its goals. The club's greatness is best displayed by its stadium, certified by UEFA as an elite stadium with 65,000 seats. The Benfica Stadium is the largest and most modern in the country. When it comes to attendance, Benfica finds itself positioned amongst the top, highest average attendances by clubs in the world, in 14th with over 52,000. There have been over 18 million visitors since its inauguration. It was the host of the Euro 2004 final and the 2014 and 2020 Champions League Thank final. Thank you so much, Rima, yeah. for, your, for your time for this Thank interview. You. We had a great time hosting you in this episode and we hope to see you soon. And all the Indian fans are vouching for Portugal and Benfica uh, in the next match days and viva Portugal. Obrigado. Ciao. Obrigado. Ciao. So this was our episode with Rima Sabrosa. For detailed content, subscribe our magazine, Viva Football Magazine, which is India's only football magazine in print format. And don't forget to subscribe our digital avatar, our YouTube channel, The Viva Football Show. Ciao.